Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about packages and imports in Java. So a Java package is essentially just a like a folder or a container where we can store Java files that are similar. And you know, that's sort of like the general definition, but really you can use packages to just store different files, organize different Java files inside of your Java project. So over here, you'll see I have my Java project, which is just draft, and I have this source folder, and inside of this source folder, I have this default package. And this is just a package that was created by Eclipse when I created my app.java file. So Eclipse basically just forced me to put this file inside of this default package. And like I said, a package is, you know, for all intents and purposes, just a folder where we can store Java files and packages have special attributes. So, you know, if files are in the same package and then they can do certain things and files that are in the same packages have like a better relationship, I guess you could say than files that aren't in the same packages. So I just want to talk about like that and talk about using files that are in different packages and stuff like that. So first thing we'll talk about how to create a package. So in Eclipse, it's really easy. I can just right click on this source folder click new and I can click package. So down here, I can just name this package. So why don't we just say P1? So I'm just gonna call this like package one and I'm gonna click the finish button down here. So now we have this new package. So if I want, I can create a file in here. So I'm gonna create a Java class and we're just gonna call this my class. So this is just going to be a very like general class. I'm not really talking too much about classes. So now I'll click finish. And you can see here I have this public class my class and Java by default put this package P1 thing up there for us. And that basically just says like, you know, what package that this thing is in. So if I wanted to use this my class class inside of this app.java file, I'm actually gonna have to do something called importing it. So because this class is in P1 package, if I want to use it over here, like if I wanted to create an instance of this my class class, I can't just do it like I normally would. So I can't just say my class, my class is equal to new my class. You'll notice that I'm getting an error over here. So this is actually has this red underline and it says my class cannot be resolved to a type in order to use this class because it's in a different package than this app class is in. I have to import it. Basically, I have to tell Java where this class is because Java doesn't know where it is. It's not inside of our current package. And so Java's like, I have no idea where this class is. So what we can do is we can come up here and you want to do this before you put this public class line. I can just say import. And now I want to specify the package that I want to import this from. So I can just say P1 and I want to say dot and I want to say the name of the class that I want to import. So I can say my class and we need a semicolon after this. So this tells Java where my class is. It tells Java that I want to use the my class that's inside of package one. So down here I can say my class class and I'm able to create this class down here without getting an error. And the reason this is useful is because, you know, for example, let's say I had another package. So let's create another package in the source folder and I'm just going to call it P2. So down here we'll just say P2 and we can create it. And inside of this P2 package, let's say I had another class. And maybe this class is also called my class. So these two classes in these two different packages have the same name. Well, if I was to come over here in my app.java file, I'm using my class from the package P1, but if I wanted, I could change this and I could say my class from the P2 package. And now I'll be using a completely different class from a completely different package. And that's kind of how packages can come in handy. You can have like different groups of classes. Maybe some of them even have the same name and you can specify which one you want to import and which one you want to use inside of other classes and other packages in your Java program. So packages are extremely useful and you know, really they're not that complicated to use. Just take code, put it inside of a package. If you have other code and you want to organize it, put it into a different package. 
But if you want to use code that's in a different package, you have to always import it. And you always want to specify what package you want to import it from. And also one more thing, whenever you create a class inside of a given package, you need to define this up here. So you see up there we say P1, over here we say P2. If I got rid of this line, then I'm gonna get an error. So you can see there's an error over here. And the reason we didn't have to use that inside of this class, I didn't have to say like package whatever, is because this is just the default class or the default package. So hopefully that explains a little bit about what imports are and a little bit about what packages are. Um, throughout this course, you might've seen me importing different things. And that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm just importing classes that are inside different packages that I wanna use inside of my program. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.